welcome back to the What the Fuck podcast, this is episode fifty-eight. I think I I don't know anymore. We're losing count. <sighs> yes, sir. Episode fifty-eight. It is your two favorite pieces of breast meat. I'm the left, and Austin's the right. <laughs> you know how we do. Big titties, what? big nipples. What's up? What the fuck podcast? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I don't know, I'm trying to have happiness right now because I'm gonna be fucking in today. <laughs> why are Why are we both breast meat, dude? <laughs> I don't know because we we evolved into the first males with tits, as River Shaw said. Especially Darn. Austin. Austin got them big mommy milkers. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Them fangs staying in Austin respectfully. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, thank you guys Austin for watching the What the Fuck Austin podcast. That's all for this week. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Austin, does your does your breasts look like that one fucking bitch from the uh, Gone video where like the one looked like a black right, one looked like all a Alright, alright, yeah, yeah. See you guys <laughs> next time, next week, or next next couple weeks, I don't fucking know. For the next what the fuck podcast. That's that's it. That's a wrap for this week. <laughs> yep, cause Austin doesn't care about this podcast no more. He cares Not about fu- his breast implants. Not fu- <sighs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get some happiness right now, Austin, because I'm gonna be pissed later. I know. Well, I have to start with me being pissed, you ass. You're already gonna get happiness with me being pissed. Well, that's not my fault. Fucking, you got banned on Twitter. It's your own fault. I didn't get banned. Okay, so okay, so I got suspended because I told Jason Blum to go kill himself. All right, it, it, it's mm-hmm. fine. I thought it was a perfectly fine tweet. All I said was "kill yourself." That's all I said. Jesus Christ, Austin. <laughs> but Austin, I mean, you see what you don't understand is it's fine when the AEW fans tell people to kill themselves, but not you. Oh, I know. Apparently, that's that's a, that's the situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll get to the AEW fans, because I have beef with them on Twitter, too. But the thing is, I got suspended oh God. for 12 fucking hours. And they're like, oh, you have a warning. You have a warning. If you get suspended again, you you will be considered to be, like, permanently banned. And it's like, really? Oh really, God. bro? After I said one fucking joke. I don't actually want Jason Blum to kill himself, you dumbass. Like, Jesus Christ. Thinking, like, reported your tweet. I don't know. Probably some fucking butthurt Megan fan. Oh, it's such a great movie. Go oh. fuck yourself, you little cunts. But awesome, you like Megan. No, I don't. You were telling me how you are gonna do an awesome the artist review on it. If it's bad, then yeah, I might. <laughs> And it's Austin looking bad. You. Austin was saying he's going to be having a weekly segment talking about movies he watches every week because he goes to the movie theater every week now. I don't go to the movie theater every fucking week, Gary. It's not every week. I had COVID last week, Gary. So. Mm-hmm. I didn't go to the theater then, you ass. Oh, yeah. Fucking awesome had COVID, by the way. Yeah, I had COVID. It was fucking shitty. Um, yeah. You think that's why you got banned? Because you had COVID? No, I got, I got, I got fucking suspended before that, so. But, but why, why would Twitter target little old you, Austin? Because I told Jason Blum to kill himself. Well, you shouldn't have been done that. You shouldn't have been a bad boy. You gotta be respectful on Elon Musk's platform, Austin. No, fuck Elon Musk. You know, fuck him, honestly, because he's doing this shit. And then, and then, 
You see, I, I could call, I could call fucking Aubrey Edwards a cunt any day of the week, and it'd be fine. Oh, but no, 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 no. See, see, I fucking straight up because Aubrey Edwards is being a dumb cunt, and I was just telling the truth there. I was telling the truth because she sat there and Ruby Soho. Keep keep in mind, Ruby Soho is like 150 pounds, bleeding like a fucking stuck pig. And Aubrey's not doing shit. She's being a dumb cunt and just sitting there in the ring, like, oh, yeah. oh, I'm just not 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 gonna check her. And so I called her a dumb cunt. And of course, that's the one tweet out of every tweet I've tweeted, like the over a thousand tweets I've tweeted. That's the one tweet that blows up. Mm-hmm. And I get fucking shit on. Like, oh, oh, you wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that in real life. Yes, I fucking would. You dumbass. You don't know me. I would fucking call Aubrey Edwards a dumb cunt any day to her face. Because she is a dumb cunt. But All right? Austin, they said, they said you're a weirdo that gets no vision. I mean, I read all the comments. I don't think they said that. I mean, they said more to you <laughs> than they did me. I've never seen that comment. No, they said you guys talking about both of us. I mean, you okay. Try to exclude yourself from that. I you mean, okay. You, you get no bitches. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I'm not saying I do. I don't know why I would want Aubrey well, in the first place. She looks like a fucking horse. But, but Austin, they said they said you're making fun of someone's appearance. But yet, uh, you got, they're like, they're like, you hide behind, uh, fucking a women's profile picture or some shit like that. And they're like, okay, you, I, they're like, I bet you aren't supermodels. <laughs> yeah, I bet they aren't either. Like, like what, well, one was hiding a, like, behind a picture of a banana. <laughs> so. Well, they act like fucking, they act like Aubrey's a supermodel, Austin. She ain't. And it's not like she's gonna fuck him, because I'm pretty sure she's, like, lesbian or some shit. Well, that doesn't matter. You can't insult anything when it comes to AEW. It doesn't matter if it's Tony Khan, if it's... It doesn't matter, Austin. You can't... You're not allowed to say anything negative about AEW. That's, that's what you gotta learn. I'll say whatever the fuck, you know, I'll say whatever the fuck I want whenever the fuck I like, okay? So, they can kiss my well, ass. Twitter's gonna suspend you if you do that, Austin. Ooh. Well, what are you gonna do if they report you for that tweet and you get another suspension? And oh, that's candy? the funny part. I fucking was tired of dealing with the, bi the bitch-ass pussies. I was like, oh, not cool, not cool, you shit, she's not a dumb cunt. You know, it says the dumb cunt yourself. I was so tired of hearing this fucking whiny ass bitches that I just deleted the tweet. Oh god. And, and, and here's the thing. I didn't delete it for, like, because that I was getting hate. Because I, genuinely, I don't give a fucking shit. But, I deleted it because it has, I was tired of hearing whiny ass fucking pussy ass bitches. That kept just kept, kept coming to fucking Aubrey's aid. Yeah, I I looked I looked at all the quote tweets to Scott Armstrong's tweet that I, cause I that's how what the tweet I quote tweeted right, and I looked at all of them. Most of them got like a hundred views and whatever. For some reason, I was the only one that got like over like four thousand views. So I just said fuck it, I'm done. Like I'm done. I was the only one. Why? Because I called somebody a dumb cunt. I call her a dumb cunt every week. Like, oh my god. Because, Austin. Because, Be <laughs> because you're a weirdo that gets no bitches and you hide behind an Alexa Bliss profile picture. As I don't even have the Alexa Bliss pro profile picture. I changed it to Bray Wyatt because I saw a cool Bray Wyatt picture. <laughs> 
Well, at the time of the tweet, you still had that. That's why they were saying. I know, man. I can't have an Alexa Bliss picture as my fucking profile picture. It looked like a decent picture. That's why it wasn't even of her ass or anything. It was just Alexa Bliss's face. It was like a cool portrait shot. That's why I used it. But Austin, they call they called you an e drone. <laughs> It's too bad, man. It's like, I don't care. It, well, it was just speaking, stupid. Speaking of AEW, uh, hopping on that, hopping on that topic. Uh, did you want to give your thoughts on the uh, the bloodbath from Rampage? That was a uh, TJ versus Ruby Soho and Willow Nightingale. Yeah, I everything. That you will hear me say on about Willow Nightingale that I've said before, I take it back because she's fucking unsafe and terrible. <laughs> did you see how what she did to Anna J? I'm not even shitting you, like. Yeah. Yeah, there's a uh, a spot where she was supposed to power bomb Anna J off the stage through a table. And they completely missed the table, and Anna Jay took a nasty-ass bump, and she was out the rest of the match. Yeah, and she wasn't moving. So she may actually be hurt. Yeah. Like, at first, I, I, you know, at first, really at first when I saw that clip, I'm like, why the fuck is Nyla Rose on screen? Because she, like, I, I swear that it was so unprofessional that it looked like Nyla Rose, but, but somehow... Somehow, Willow, who I have praised in the past, this just goes to show, even if I praise somebody, they can still be fucking terrible. They can change on a dime. Well, that's, that's what AEW does, they fucking make everybody terrible. It's gonna happen to MJF eventually, Austin, you just watch, I'm predicting it here. Don't say that, okay? Just don't say that. As soon as he loses that title, his career's done. Stop. I'm telling you right now. But it's I just want him to go to the man. You don't, you don't. You don't need MJF, Austin. You got these blood bats on Rampage that people uh, that people were saying. They're like, uh, I don't know why people are complaining about the blood and. Uh, it's just like the Attitude Era, and people like the Attitude Era. Bro, they didn't bleed they every saying. week. They didn't bleed on a weekly television show shown on fucking TBS or TNT. I'm sorry. But Austin, but Austin, the AEW fans said, why are you complaining about Ruby Soho bleeding all over the place? It added to the match. They even said, they even said that, oh, WWE fans are okay with uh, the Stone Cold versus Bret Hart match, where Stone Cold was bleeding all over the place, but Ruby Soho, no. And this That was WrestleMania! Complain about that. But Austin, it doesn't matter because you're sexist if you didn't like that match. I guess I'm sexist then. I don't care. <laughs> But I mean, Twitter already thinks I am. Like nah, nah, Twitter already thinks I am because I called Aubrey Edwards a dumb, dumb cunt. Which I'm not. I'm just say stating facts. <laughs> but Austin, the, 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 the point is, is, uh, you know, with that match or the, uh, the Lights Out match where Britt Baker was bleeding all over the place or John Moxley bleeding every week, it, it, uh, it adds to the match. All these AEW fans were saying it's it makes it cool, it makes it badass, and they were saying that they were saying it makes AEW uh, realistic, unlike WWE Austin. They said because WWE doesn't have blood in every match that it's fake Austin. I'm not bullshitting you. These are actual like tweets I was seeing. <sighs> You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna save it for AEW on Wednesday. Okay. Cause I just don't have it in me right now. 
I don't. Like, I don't have it Stay in the news. Stay tuned for, uh... Well, it won't come out when this podcast comes out, but stay tuned for our, uh... January, uh, 18th review of AEW. No. Because, uh, I guess I should say, we did say the AEW re- reviews were going to be on the podcast, but, uh, what ended up happening is, uh... Austin got angrier than I anticipated very quickly, and the reviews became pretty fucking long. Almost two hours long, so we decided that we were just going to release the AEW reviews on the Clips channel, so make sure to go subscribe to the Clips channel to see those AEW reviews. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I'm disappointed every week by what I watch. So, but it's good wrestling, Austin. It, it doesn't even qualify they don't as need wrestling. a performance center, Austin. As a matter of fact, I saw someone that said uh, that AEW uh, has taken all these wrestlers that had no experience and turned them into uh, main event superstars. And they said people like Jade Cargill, for example, Austin. They said. Jade Cardinal is now one of the biggest stars in the industry, Austin. You know, you, you let them keep saying that. You let them keep saying that because, because, and I don't, I don't mean to bring up draws again, but you know, when they have their draws oh situation or the or their Owen Hart situation, then talk to me. Then talk to me, motherfucker. You let them keep having their situation, their fucking, their, oh, this is real wrestling. Oh, whatever. I can't wait. I can't wait till they get fucking pulled back and they're like, oh, wait, we might need a performance center because somebody dies. But Austin, AEW has trainers, don't forget. They have uh, they have coaches and trainers like Mark Henry and Jerry Lynn and uh, the person who was training Paige to wrestle safely, don't forget. Yeah, wasn't he like a fucking... We'll talk about... Isn't he like a doctor? We'll talk about... Yeah. They're having people train... They're having doctors train people. That tells you enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, since you want to talk, since you want to fucking talk, I saw on Twitter, fucking Broken Matt Hardy is going to be back. I know he's going to be back on Evolution... On fucking, like... Elevation. Evolution. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you know, ele- Elevation's where they where they keep the worst of the worst, Austin. That's why House of Black is on Elevation, because they're trash. They don't deserve to be on TV, Austin. P- Chris Jericho deserves to be on TV. You just don't know what a star is. Chris Jericho is the greatest to ever do it. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. Austin. Why do you sound constipated when you say that? You never seen that clip where the No, I've seen the clip. I've seen the clip. I've seen the clip. (laughs) (sighs) Ah man, I don't fuck me, dude. So so uh is there anything you wanna say to uh to Twitter specifically for suspending you. Die. Oh my god. Next thing you know, I'd go to Austin's Twitter and it says this account is no longer available as it has been removed. <laughs> e- Elon's not gonna fuck around. Austin. You fuck, fuck around and find out what Elon must do. Elon can go suck a dick. Okay? How about that? Austin, you don't... You don't want to mess with Tesla and SpaceX, Austin. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. He's not going to fuck with me when I'm talking on fucking YouTube. He ain't going to fuck with me on YouTube, so he's not going to do anything in my Twitter account. I bet you in a couple days there's nothing going to happen in my fucking Twitter account, (laughs) alright? Austin, Elon Musk will buy YouTube just to take your damn channel down. (laughs) 
He'll take both of our channels down, Austin. Just to no, go, go ahead, it. Elon. If you're that fucking petty, go ahead. Buy fucking Google, you dumbass. <laughs> what if Elon Musk buys the internet, Austin, and shuts it down? Then what? Then he's not, like, he's pretty much angering everybody there. <laughs> so, Austin, you keep running your mouth about Elon Musk. He's going to fucking put you in that rocket and send you to Mars so you can figure that shit out. <laughs> You'll be the test subject. He ain't going to do shit, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to check your Twitter. If I see it says this account has been removed, I'll know fucking Elon was watching this shit. He's gonna be like, nah, I'm not gonna let some fucking punk ass person named Austin sit here and trash fucking Tesla and fucking SpaceX and fucking Twitter. Fuck SpaceX. Fuck goddamn Tesla. And fuck Elon's this bitch ass. You hear that Elon? Austin's coming for your neck. He's going for the jugular. And he ain't gonna do shit. Well, speaking of going for the jugular, can we talk about a fucking uh, murderer? Who, who, who's murdering people? Who's in a co conspiracy to murder? Oh Jesus! Okay. We're gonna. Go I, I would like to talk about Mr. Ronald McDonald, Austin. If you get the, my drift. But I like McNuggets, man. Well, you wouldn't want to eat McNuggets for this man. The only thing you'd be eating is a fucking mic stand to the face. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ronnie Radke. It has been a little bit since we talked about Ronnie Radke, Austin. Now, Great. Everyone watching this, you might be wondering, why the hell are we talking about Ronnie Radke again? You guys already read the entire list of his fucking... And all this fuck shit. Well, it turns out there's more fuck shit, Austin. Oh yeah. More fuck shit because Ronnie Rag, he just he can't be stopped. The man just doesn't quit. And and before you all ask, yes, Paige is involved in this too. So don't you worry. So get your popcorn, get your snacks, sit down and get cozy. It's time to talk about. The ten piece nugget McChicken eating motherfucker, Ronald McDonald Radke. So can we, can we not that. like Shit ruin McDonald's for me, please? Fucking Well, don't worry, Austin, because there's someone involved in this that probably eats a lot of McDonald's because Chris Jericho is also <sighs> involved in this. Because Ronnie Radke got into a beef with Chris Jericho. Let me get to the shit that I sent you. I'm I'm just gonna let you speak for a minute. I'm I'm gonna mute and just let you speak. Your well, your fucking. I actually I actually need you for oh, this. Oh great. Because since I'm at work right now, I can't play these videos. So in the uh, in the Twitter thread that I sent you, would, could you be kind enough to play the first two videos? Sure. Yes. Because I can't do that and be in the party at the same time. Okay. Also, I don't think that... Because, uh, Ronnie Radke has said some more fuck shit. Uh, it looks to be on TikTok, I believe. So. Yeah, uh, uh, this is, uh, basically Paige said, defending him from proven false allegations but go off Elvira from Wish. Uh, so this person, I guess, uh, was defending herself or whatever, her names, uh, I, I can't, I can't actually read what her name is, actually. Uh, it looks like, uh, Mammy Hades, or Mammy Hades. Okay. That's I will play it. That's account it comes from, anyway. I will play it in three, two, <laughs> one. Paige, I used to have respect for you. He would used to. Also, I don't think that going for my looks is relevant whatsoever. Um, no need to bring another woman down. 
Uh, I'm just concerned about your boyfriend not being the best person. Let's say that Ronnie theoretically, let's say the allegations are false, which not all of them have been proven to be false, okay? And I always try to believe the victim instead of siding with somebody who could very well potentially be an abuser, especially knowing Ronnie's background. Um, let's say all of that didn't exist. Um, he still told a gay man on Twitter, Elijah Daniel, that he would scare, quote, the effing AIDS out of him. Oh my fucking So he's homophobic, you're defending that too? Also, when a uh, person on Twitter called him out, uh, you know, just... Okay, that was that. A photographer and... Okay. ...called them racist for some reason. Um, he also told a photographer to off themselves after said photographer politely asked for credit when Ronnie posted one of their photographs of him without crediting them. Yeah. He's also threatened music critics plenty of times. Um, also, let's not forget him being transphobic. Um... So somebody called him out for misgendering Laura Jane Grace, the lead singer of Against Me, who is a trans woman, for those of you who are unaware. Um, and here he is again, saying he, misgendering Laura yet again. Um, he has also dead named Caitlyn Jenner and joked about it in this Instagram Oh phone. my god. He is Wait, dressing is... like, he's dressed, dressing like Caitlyn Jenner. Wait, what is, what is, did she say dead named? Yeah, I, I would assume... What does that mean? I... The way she's saying it, I think... I'm, I would assume he's just calling Caitlyn Jenner Bruce Jenner. That's... All I could think of with dead Demi, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I think that's what that means. But he's also dressing like Caitlyn Jenner. Um, he also had people on Twitter concerned with his use of the arsler, which he cannot reclaim. Um, and then he started just saying the arsler in all caps, basically saying, don't tell me what slurs I can and can't use, you know. Um, yeah, that's charming of him. Anyways, at night, Heat Player has a very informative um, and well-researched thread of this on their Twitter. Um, I suggest looking into that for anybody who is unaware of the things that Ronnie has done in the past. And Paige, if you see this, all I'm saying is, one, going for my looks is not going to get you anywhere. I don't see how making fun of my appearance somehow makes your point stronger. Because at the end of the day, you're defending an abuser. You are defending somebody with many allegations. You are defending somebody who routinely is homophobic, transphobic, ableist, you know, has fat shamed, has been sexist, etc. It's not a good look. Okay. Well, those were the two videos, Devin. Hello? Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, man. But, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, so, not only that, uh, Mamie Hayes also accompanied, uh, some screenshots here. So, uh, the, uh, the, uh, tweet she put for the first video says, uh, posting this here because Paige likely had it taken down because no one is allowed to criticize her boyfriend so she basically Paige like takes down anything criticizing Ronnie so Austin if you ever tweet about Ronnie Racky Paige might try to take you down just so you're aware um but and then um she goes on to say this was Paige's original jab at me for calling her out for defending her shit stain of a human being boyfriend. Also, here's Ronnie's reply to my comment. Both of them don't deserve fans or a platform. <clears throat> so, uh, Paige's TikTok is called WWE Paige here. And she's this is her uh, response to whatever video. She said, ha 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 ha. I'm still laughing at the lip quiver at the end, number one. 
and then um, Mamie responds and says, lost all respect for you for staying with <coughs> and defending your boyfriend who has multiple assault charges plus told a gay man he'd scare the AIDS out of him. Then Paige replies and says, defending him from proven false allegations, but go off Elvira from Wish. So then, uh, this next screenshot, this person said, homie, you got canceled by the court. And then Mamie replies and says, he got canceled by Six Flags and the law. And then Ronnie responds and says, actually, I canceled Six Flags. Nobody can play there because I threw a mic stand. So, um, yeah. Which is what we talked about last time, so he admits that that's true. <laughs> uh, then she says, also at <clears throat> at night, the night at the player has a very informative and well put together thread on what Ronnie has done for those of you who would like to know. Uh, so um, I get this. It's uh, a. <clears throat> This goes even deeper, Austin, because because uh, this leads to another thread that I didn't even know about. Um, <sighs> Jesus Christ! So, um, this is called Ronnie Radke is problematic. A thread um, says <clears throat> for legal reasons, these are allegations. Number one, outwardly insults people on Twitter, making fat phobic remarks and shaming their appearances. Uh, Ronnie tweets here and says, Being fat will kill you. We need to be healthier as a nation. Not make it acceptable to be proud of having high cholesterol and diabetes. And then people are going at him for body shaming. Uh, just to add to this, Ronnie Radke responded to an Instagram comment telling me, I look like I need a fucking diet at 16 years old. I was crushed, cried for hours, and my self-esteem was destroyed by someone I literally idolized. Uh, so here's another tweet from Ronnie, where he says, uh, <clears throat> hold on, did I fucking... Okay, so uh, someone named Shug White said, never heard of her, I don't think, it was some tweet, I don't know. And then Ronnie replies and said, P.S., it is like a new law slash hate crime uh, is it like a new law slash hate crime to be rude to morbidly obese people asking for a friend? And then someone else tweeted him and said, I genuinely want to fight Ronnie Radke. Ronnie responds and says, at first glance, I thought you were Demi Lovato after eating a peanut that she was allergic to. Old quagmire face swollen as fuck. <sighs> oh my <clears throat> god. Number two, he believes in reverse racism, which is, I believe we talked about this last time. Um, basically, uh, Ronnie tweeted, I only talk about the rape stuff because I was accused of it, and it is taxing being accused of something you didn't do, so I spoke out. Then this person said, I'm sorry, when did we ask the irrelevant, privileged white male for his opinion? Ronnie responds and said, okay, you are a fucking racist, fuck you. Then, um... He posted like a picture of this thing that said, uh, it says mass shooters 2019. It's like a picture. It says everyone, every person charged with or arrested for shooting people, four people in a single in incident. And he said, don't let the media tell you it's white racist people doing the mass murders. It's every race, mainly male, only cover the white kids because if it fits the narrative, they push for ratings. Stay woke. So he thinks he's fucking woke too. Which is really annoying, because I hate people that think they're woke. Jesus um, Christ. <clears throat> then, uh, number three. In 2006, he was part of a fight that resulted in the death of 18-year-old Michael Cook. He was put on parole, and when he broke it, he was sentenced to prison time. Number four. The IC Star situation for convenience. They... Where is it? Uh, they will be referred to as ISS... In 2012, ISS was set to open for f FIR, but a few months before tour, they were caught with weed in their van and got arrested. Ronnie kicked them off the tour, but ISS felt bad for disappointing their fans, so they offered to tour with no pay. Ronnie agreed and made them sign a contract saying they couldn't tell anyone. After letting them back on tour, Ronnie threatens an ISS band member with violence because he didn't like his stupid fucking face. 
and kicked them off tour a day or two after that. His tour manager then physically assaulted ISS's manager, and these statements were all confirmed by Sumerian Records. He later threw fans out of shows for chanting their name. Number five <clears throat> on this list. He's thrown a metal mic stand into the crowd on multiple occasions, hitting people multiple times, one time resulting in a man having to get staples in his head after being hit. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. And there's a there's a video on here of Ronnie throwing mic stands into the crowd, so it's definitely real. Oh my god. <clears throat> Number six, Austin. Ronnie is responsible for metal shows being banned from Six Flags due to his reckless regard recklessness regarding mic stands. He injured a 16-year-old girl and a 24-year-old man and was charged with simple assault and aggravated assault. Number seven, Ronnie spitting on fans at concerts and cussing at them. There's a video Why? that show showcases that. Why, man? Number eight, he told a photographer to kill himself when he asked for photo credit and said that he would just be thankful that he even got to take photos of them. Number nine, he threatened music critics with violence when he didn't receive the reaction he wanted from them. And uh, Ronnie's tweet here says, At ARTV Reviews, you're literally the biggest punk bitch on the internet. I pour my heart and soul into everything I do, and you turn around and shit on it. I'm punching you in the mouth when I see you, not a threat, it's a promise. And then uh, someone says, I liked his videos a while back, but he shits on artists that he doesn't personally like. It's not even based on the music. If he doesn't like you as a person, your songs get bad reviews. And then Ronnie replied and said, 100% going to get punched in his mouth. <clears throat> Number 10, uh, Suicide. When Nick Matthews of Get Scared attempted suicide, tweeting, yeah, goodbye, with a photo of pills on the table, Ronnie, Ronnie added his girlfriend saying this and pr proceeded to mock Nick. So uh, this, this was before he was dating Paige. Uh, he said he added her and then he said, get scared, winking emoji. And then Ronnie tweeted a picture of... of uh, Japanese candies that look like pills. He said, I'm about to end it, guys. I'm going to eat all these Japanese candies because life is too hard. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, my God, dude. Number 11. It's, it's still going. Transphobia. He misgendered Laura Jane Grace of Against Me multiple times. He also denamed Caitlyn Jenner. So here's his tweets. Ronnie says, uh, his parents... And isn't his parents having gender reveal parties transphobic as well? Assuming the gender of the baby before it is even born, uh, before it even knows, uh, these are actual questions I have, like when is it too far or when is it not enough? Where's the line? If you, uh, Another tweet, if you are born with a penis in 2019, does it make the doctor transphobic to classify the baby as a male being that it has male sex organs? So pretty much science is transphobic because they don't wait till the baby is old enough to realize they're actually a woman. Got it. Then he says, I was told by a friend that the singer of Against Me called me transphobic because he read that someone I said was, read this loud and clear. I give a fuck less about what gender you identify as, what sexuality you are, or what race you are. Please shut the fuck up. And then he uh, replied to a tweet from Alternative Press that says, J.K. Rowling is facing criticism for allegedly supporting anti-trans sentiments. And Ronnie said, who the fuck cares? Holy shit. And then here's the pictures where he dresses up like Bruce Jenner, or Caitlyn Jenner. And he says, Bruce Jenner of the music scene, a.k.a. the queen of the music scene, anyone that takes offense to this thinking I'm transphobic because I know there'll at least be one dumbass. And that's where it cuts off because it's a screenshot from whatever uh, his Instagram. <clears throat> Number 12, homophobia. He told a gay man he would scare the AIDS out of him. So this guy named Elijah Daniel says, well, that's because you're, 30, you're 35 and still in your twink emo phase. Dude, it's been hours and I'm hashtag only known for being gay is trending now. Making fun of you. Just take your L. This is too embarrassing to watch. 
Ronnie says, what L? This is Twitter. We can agree that if you ran into me in person after today, I'd scare the fucking AIDS out of you and you'd be apologizing 100%. It still continues, Austin. Oh my god. Ableism, he uses the R slur, which is retard. Uh, so Austin said, uh, not Austin, I don't know what I said Austin. Ronnie said, <laughs> Ronnie said, the word retard is used in music, baking, and other categories. You need to educate yourself. You ain't gonna try and even utter it. I can say the word as many times as I want. See, look, and he said it like six times. <clears throat> Number 14, uh, so I'm not sure where this comment is from, it's just a screenshot, and this is a quote uh, from Ronnie, he says, I'm so over these pussy ass people, Warped Tour used to be a place where whatever you said it was accepted. Now you have to be careful what you say because some feminazi Jesus freak white girl who's pro-black oh will start God. a blog and rant about it in her room on YouTube. Fuck oh this God. generation and fuck you if you do this shit. Bring back punk rock. Bring back freedom of speech. Fuck everyone. Oh <clears throat> my God. <laughs> and it keeps going more. Uh, still on more transphobia. Ronnie says... Uh, I'm not, this is on TikTok, I'm not following your rules, dude, if you respect me, I respect you, I'm not changing what I call people the last 38 years to save your feelings, if you're a trans woman, I'll call you a woman, I ain't gonna walk around, yeah, these were, uh, the turn shots, we were last time, we talked about them, Jesus uh, Christ, dude, so here's, uh, some, uh, Transphobia tweets from his Twitter. Ronnie said, uh, "This person said I have trans friends." Oh, they quoted Ronnie, saying, "I have trans friends. I just don't think they just share bathrooms with other people." Do you hear yourself, Ronald? And Ronnie replies and said, "Let me reiterate. I don't agree. A trans woman should be allowed to walk in a women's bathroom and expose themselves pre-op. Is that better?" And then someone said, well, "Why can't a trans woman go to a women's bathroom if they're a woman too?" Ronnie said, "Because." It makes the other woman in the gym bathroom uncomfortable that a naked penis is flopping around. Are you kidding me? Like, come on. Then someone says, no one's dictating that. You dictate it, and it's clear to us that you don't support trans rights. You can't say you support trans rights and then invalidate transgender AFABs, or AFABs, whatever that is, I'm not sure, when Roe v. Wade affects them just as much. Ronnie says, I support trans people. I have friends, but I also don't agree that they should be sharing bathrooms, and I do think a woman is someone who can give birth. Please tell me how I'm a bigot transphobe while using your mother's, who is a woman's, Wi-Fi to tweet at me. <clears throat> Someone said, I disagree that the ability to give birth is the definition of a woman. Ronnie says, the ability to give birth is part of many biological facts of being a woman. Someone else said, but not all women can give birth, Ronnie. Many women are infertile or born without a uterus. Ronnie says, you said an infire, infertile woman was born. Who was she born from? A woman. And that is the end of that Twitter thread. Oh, God. That was God damn. And that's only the first Ronnie thing. <laughs> oh, boy. So... <clears throat> Falling, uh, we go from that to falling in reverse singer Ronnie Radke has his sights set on Chris Jericho. Okay, let me save a clip. Let me just save a clip, because I know this is going to be long. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, this article <clears throat> comes from Real Wrestling News and Views by Real Fans. <clears throat> falling in reverse singer Ronnie Radke has sights set on Chris Jericho. The lead singer from Falling in Reverse, Ronnie Radke, made the news late last year, so this was a couple weeks ago, as he got in a public feud with former Skid Row singer Sebastian Bach during over how a laptop was used at a live show. Ron, quote from Ronnie, as a band in 2022, you need your laptops. It's like driving a car without an engine. This then had 
Sirius XM DJ Eddie Trunk go on a social go on social media and go on about live rock shows. Wait, go on about live rock shows are not actually live in many ways. Sebastian Bach would later carry on before s starting a lengthy back and forth conversation with Ronnie Radke. Ronnie Radke is the boyfriend of AEW superstar Soraya. Everybody knows that. Fucking uh. She joined in on she joined in on the situation in an interview with Chris Van Bleet. A uh, quote from Soraya. <clears throat> He's an asshole. I was so disappointed. She said about Bach. We didn't realize how much Sebastian Bach was fucking hated. This guy is a menace. He got into an argument with Chris Jericho at one point, like he is a menace. Soraya did an interview recently with DJ Woo Kid. DJ Woo Kid, what kind of name is that? Before this week's AW Dynamite, as she discussed the hope of having intergender matchups with Ronnie Radke, hoping to be involved as as Ronnie Radke said he wants to face Chris Jericho. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with these people? Oh my god, Austin. I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless of what I'm hearing. Uh, I heard these more quotes from Soraya. She said, <clears throat> it writes itself, she said of the possible angle. I'm Ronnie sorry? I even wanted to become part of it. Do you some, uh, something against Crystal Jericho? Or, uh, he's such a good bad guy. He plays a very good bad guy, and people love to hate Jericho. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ronnie Jericho. Hang on, hang what? on. What? Is she saying <laughs> that Ronnie Radke would be the good guy in this situation? Yep. Alright, you keep talking, I'm gonna need a minute. Oh no. <laughs> so, um, she c continues to say, uh, I feel, I feel Ronnie and Jericho would have a good storyline. I would love to wrestle one of the guys. If I have to beat up, if I have to beat up Chris Jericho, Jericho would be up for it. He doesn't care. He's a, oh my god, Austin, this is gonna fucking piss you off. Oh my god. She says, <clears throat> Chris Jericho is a very selfless worker, Austin. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <sighs> I feel like Austin's not going to come back after hearing that. <laughs> Austin, are you there? <laughs> oh my fucking god. She really said Chris Jericho is a selfless worker. No fucking way, bro. Oh my god. <clears throat> I think that's misspelled, Devin. Oh, Austin, this gets worse. I think, I think that's misspelled. What? I think she means selfish. No, Austin, because after that, he says, he's a good guy, he'll wrestle anybody, and if he has to let somebody win, he'll be like, absolutely, there is never an ego there with Chris Jericho. He just wants to help people, Austin. I can't even lose this great face. I can't. <laughs> has she has all the spinal fluid that she's lost like gone to her brain? <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying at all. <laughs> she uh <clears throat> I she continues, I'm like, let me beat you, let me beat you up. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. We'll be fine. When <clears throat> Oh god dude. Holy shit. Oh. oh my god. 
but uh, it says when when Ronnie Red and Sebastian Bach were going back and forth, the lead singer from Falling in Reverse had said wrestling had had his back. Uh, another quote from Ronnie: "I stand my I stand my ground, and I just stand by what I believe in." Uh, Sebastian was so rude. He's rude. Some prominent people in music DM'd me. I made it made me feel a lot better. I don't want to call them out, but they were on my side. Even some famous wrestlers, some huge legendary wrestlers, hit me up too. Don't say it. And they were like, "He's always don't say an it. asshole." Don't say it. I'm like, "What do you mean?" I didn't didn't notice. I had no idea. He was like, yeah, look. And he shows me screenshots. I'm like, God, he's so rude to a lot of people. Oh my God. And that is the end of the article, Austin. I need alcohol. <laughs> she said, Chris Jericho is a selfless worker that doesn't have an ego. And he wants to help people and puts people over. What the fuck, Paige? I'm sorry. Fucking, I'm not gonna say Paige, because that's your name when you're actually fucking worth a damn. Soraya. What the fuck happened to you? I swear, bro. Austin, I swear to God, bro. It's like, it's like, ever since she started dating Ronnie, like, she's became so delusional. You don't like, say. It's like, it's like Ronnie fucking just ruined her, bro. You don't say. Like, I, like, I just don't even know what to say. I used to like Paige so much, man, back in, like, 2014, 2015, 2016. Like, Paige was one of my favorite women's wrestlers, and to see her saying this shit now and being this man, delusional. Man, man, you fucking, think you liked Paige? Oh you think God. you like Paige? I have her movie on fucking DVD, on fucking Blu-ray. Oh, yeah, you have fighting with my family. <laughs> yeah. We have to do that someday. You realize that. Oh, we have to do that. Oh, oh, and Austin, uh, I don't know if you saw, but it came out that uh, Paige was a hypocrite because you Great. remember how, like, when she went to AEW, she trashed on WWE and was saying how they weren't they were, like refused to let her wrestle and shit. Uh huh. So it actually came out that um, good old Papa H, Triple H, actually offered her to be in the GM role again, and he even said that he would consider let letting her wrestle in WWE again. So. She's a fucking hypocrite, bro. Because <laughs> she literally whined and complained how she couldn't wrestle anymore. Went to AEW, crashed on WWE, and it came out that they were actually going to let her wrestle and give her what she wanted. Oh She's just a total, absolute hypocritical cunt about it. And now all this delusional shit she says and siding with Ronnie, even though he's a horrible fucking person doing all this horrible shit. Just fuck her, bro. Fuck Saray. Like, honestly. <laughs> like, what the... Talk about a fall from grace, man. Like, what God, the that's... Awesome? That's a fall worse than Nova, dude. Huh. She's getting the EDP Try levels of falling from there. grace, dude. Oh, there's one more Ronnie thing I'm going to read, and I guess Great. I might as well just tack on the fucking page meltdown that she went on today onto this. You might as well. So, so there's a, <clears throat> more screenshots of Mr. Radke. This person says, I just saw Ronnie Radke arguing in TikTok comments. So, I think this was on Paige's account, and someone said, uh, so it says, shut up, Ronald. Ronnie replied and said, you need bangs. Take that nine head to a three head. Ronnie then says, not a burn, just observing your insanely large forehead. Longer than my extensive criminal record. See, I can redeem that. You can't change your forehead. 
and then someone says, by doing this you mean insulting people on social media. Ron replies, says, defending myself, as you can see, first I put was nice, and literally Humpty Dumpty followed by a bunch of accounts with zero posts attacking. And he said, it's always the ugliest ones too, you never see moderately attractive to good looking ones doing this. My God! Well, I mean, he's with Paige with all the plastic, so I don't, I don't know if Ronnie knows what moderately attractive is. The but... dude's got tattoos all over his body. I don't think he does know what attractive is. I mean, I'm all down for getting some tattoos, but fuck's sake, not all over your body where you look like a fucking clown. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to find this, uh... Okay, I'm trying to find, uh... Okay, so basically, what was happening on Twitter with Soraya, here is the meltdown that she went on. Uh, basically, uh, someone pretty much told her that she was useless in AEW, which she is. She brings nothing to AEW. They were acting like she was going to be a game changer for the women's She's not done a single thing, and no one cares about her anymore. And so she tweeted and said, The amount of beards lately, angry, angry sweating while they mad type underneath every post I do just because I'm happy wrestling again is nuts. Lower that blood pressure, brothers. Don't want to pass out because of little old me. Anyways, here's a clip of me wrestling. Then she replies to her own tweet that I guess like people were getting mad at her. She said, Nick Beard's telling on themselves in the comments. <clears throat> then, then she said, I'm gonna reply that showbiz baby to everything going forward. <clears throat> then someone responded to her and said, Soraya, you are the most overly sensitive and insecure and immature person in wrestling history. Pretends to be a badass, but pole opposite. You're all... Oh, okay, that's kind of fucked up. They said, your uncle is rolling in his grave. That's kind of fucked up. Bro. And Paige said... Okay, Soraya said, that's showbiz, baby. And that's her most recent tweet. So... Can I add to this? There was fucking... Uh, sure. Well, fucking, have you ever heard Paige's theme song? Like, have you ever, like, listened to the lyrics? Heard WWE theme song or AEW? No, AEW. Because it's falling in reverse. No, I haven't. No, I haven't listened to it because I don't like falling in reverse. Okay, so, I've listened to it. And I, even though I don't like Ronnie Radke, I don't mind the song. But I've I've listened to the lyrics and now now just hearing all this it's it's, it's mm. making a lot more sense. So I'm gonna read you the lyrics oh, no. to Zombified by Falling in Reverse. Pages AEW theme. Oh, God. <clears throat> so the first lyric, Zombified. Then it goes, the monsters aren't living under your bed because they're they are the voices in your head. And that that, that is, like these cu first couple parts isn't what I'm thinking of when it comes to why it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But, zombified the li by the lies they've said, we've become the walking dead. By the lies they've said, meaning allegations. Because everybody's talking bitch. Oh no, they'll never let go of something you said 10 years ago. They're canceling, canceling you. And they won't stop till everybody's oh zombified. God. Yeah. They're pumping us with lies like it's form formaldehyde. We're dead inside. Oh my fucking God. It goes on and on. Whoa. Let this go. When it stops, we'll never know. We're hypnotized. And they won't stop till you're zombified. You better shut your mouth, you better bite your tongue, because you don't want to piss off anyone. We're traumatized by the damage done. Welcome to America. Because everybody is a talking bitch, and then it just repeats. So, 
So there you wow, go. Bro. <laughs> so the, the next time uh, we we watch AEW and Paige wrestles, which I assume is probably gonna be at Revolution. Fucking, I'm gonna have to fucking listen to that. Great. Yeah. A shit song for a shit person who's dating. I'm oh, sorry, a shit song by a shit person who's dating a shit person that. It's a shit like Boston. Oh, and that person also for a shit company. Yeah. It's really a shit circle. Yeah. It's a shit all around. And who also defends Chris Jerry, who's also a shit person. <laughs> so. Wow. Uh... Wow. <laughs> if it's yeah. More shit than that. But yeah, oh wait, there's more. There's more. Hang on. Wrong, oh, and no. there's more. There's more. Yeah, in the song, yeah. They're feeding off your broken mind. Oh. They won't die. They multiply. You became, we became so fucking blind. They won't stop till you're zombified. Pick it up. Oh, oh, now everybody's zombified. They're pumping up, like, from out of hide. Then, then it repeats. So there's a little bit more. Oh, let's see what, let's see what Falling in Reverse actually had to say about the verse. Because Genius has some annotations. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually not gonna say that. Holy shit. Okay. Oh Why is it bad? It's bad. I'm just gonna get off Genius. Like bad how? Is it like, wait, is it like their thoughts about the song? It's basically or the meaning of the it? song. And, uh, he, yeah, and he, like, uh, basically, when he ex <laughs> explained some of the lyrics, he started saying slurs, and I'm not gonna say that. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a fun podcast clip for me to make, you know, I might... I might combine this with the fucking time we talked about before and make a big ass video out of it. Jesus Christ, also, dude. Can, you know, maybe I should just wait, because I feel like Ronnie Wreck, he's gonna have more shit about him in the future. Maybe I should just wait and make it a fucking omnibus at this point. Maybe, I don't know. It doesn't stop, bro. Like, it's not even like, it's not even like it's just Twitter. He does it on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, I'm sure he's done it on Facebook at some point. Like, probably Snapchat. Who fucking knows? Do you think like, he's done it on MySpace? Not, I wouldn't be surprised if he's... Huh? Do you think he's done it on MySpace? Back in the day, probably. He's probably done it on Discord. He's probably done it on fucking Reddit. Fucking, maybe even 4chan. I don't fucking know. Jesus but he just does not stop. Like, oh my god. Like, how do you? How are you that toxic of a person? And how how is Paige Soraya attracted to somebody that fucking toxic? And I'm not even trying to be mean towards Paige, but I swear to God, Austin, it's like she's attracted to abusive fucking piece of shit. Man. It really is. But what, what is attractive about fucking the people she's been with? Del Rio for the fucking domestic violence and fucking making you be anorexic and all that shit? And fucking Ronnie Radke with all this shit? Like, what's, what is the attraction here? I'm so know. lost. And then Ronnie Radke talks about moderately attractive. Like, you think you're attractive, bro? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. How old is Ronnie Radke, dude? Like, I'm actually curious. 35, I think. Oh, God, he's so unattractive, dude. Oh, he not, he's not 35. He's 39, bro. Oh, my God. I don't even think Paige is that old. No, she's still in her 20s, I think. Hang on. How old? Let's see how old Paige is. Or she might be 30. She's 30, yeah. I know she's not as old as him. Yeah. I was saying, I know she's not as old as him. Because I remember when she started wrestling in WWE, she was, like, real young. 
Bro, okay. he's so unattractive. Bro. But that's... That's crazy. I guess, like, tattoos all over your body and being a piece of shit person. And I guess that goes well with fucking somebody who's delusional and is, like, 7% plastic. So... I guess it fits. Oh, man. <sighs> Jesus Christ, dude. Well, fucking, what do we want to talk about next? I guess I'll to finish this out. I'll say, fuck Ronnie Rackey and fuck Soraya and fuck Chris Jericho. And that's all I gotta say about this fucking topic. And, uh, I guess sometime in the future I'll check again to see if Ronnie's in any more shit. And if he is, it doesn't fucking surprise me. Well... That's fucking crazy. I can get... I can get to my cancelled segment, and then you can get to your fucking... angry topic. Was one of your angry topics? Yeah, because, uh, believe it or not, that's not the most fucking bullshit topic we're talking about today. Believe it or not, man. <laughs> oh, man, like, okay. God, that was like a fucking hour of just fucking, probably over an hour of fucking Ronnie Radke and Soraya fucking talk. Yeah. Oh, fuck, dude, okay. Well, the cancel segment is pretty fucked this week again because it there can never. One, two, three, four people. Okay, you're gonna have to send it to me because I'm only thinking of like two right now. You're just gonna have to send me the fucking screenshot again, or just like send me a screenshot of the topics because I'm. Oi. I send it to you. I'm waiting for it to send. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Four. So I guess I guess we could start with fucking more Logan Paul shit. Apparently now he fucking I guess he he had a pig and fucking um he oh, left he thought it. it was a miniature pig. He, he thought it was a miniature pig and then it grew to like fucking humongous size and then Basically, it's alleged that he just left it, pretty much, which he moved to Puerto Rico, apparently, and that's why he left it, but I guess the pig fucking, I, I guess the pig was left with, like, a caretaker, but then the caretaker just left it out to die, and then... That that was basically it, and now like it's it's a whole big thing because Logan Paul is getting canceled left and right. Uh, so that's fucking Logan Paul. Basically, I I have no real opinion on it. I'm not gonna get into it anymore at this point. Ah. Uh, Fucking <sighs> another person who's getting canceled. I, mean, I really, you know, I really gotta go to the severity of the situa well, the situations here. So, uh, can I can I get my opinion on Logan? Yeah, 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 no problem. Hello. Work Wi-Fi. So, oh, okay. um, sorry if you hear the background, I'm outside right now, because I just got off work, but anyway, shit, 
Anyway, um, so I've been seeing a lot of shit with Logan Paul recently because, like, he, uh, apparently said some shit about, like, religion and whatever and how he, like, hates Christianity and they've been trying to, like, cancel him for that. And I saw this clip where, I mean, Logan does kind of look like a dick because, like, his friend, uh, his friend George, um, he, I forget, I think he is Christian, I want to say, either Christian yeah, or believe Islam so. or something like that, and, huh? I'm pretty sure he's Christian. So, basically, like, on the Logan Paul's podcast, like, they were talking about, like, George was talking about how, like, he said, I saw this clip, he was like, he was like, there's people that fucking hate my guts that treat me better about my religion than you and you're supposed to be my best fucking friend and Logan just looked like he did not care and like George was just telling him like uh, how he feels and shit and he uh Logan just said he disagrees with the religion and he said because uh, like George was trying to say, he's like, oh, well, just because, like, some people in the religion are bad doesn't mean it's everybody, and Logan was like, he's like, no, nah, that doesn't matter, just because you support, uh, that religion, that means you support that, uh, or you support those people and whatever, and he's, he's kind of, like, really being a dick about it, I don't know why, and it's just, I don't, I, like, I like Logan Paul, but I was just like, look, why is he acting like that, bro, I don't know. Like, a lot of shit's been going on with them lately. I've been seeing fucking Charlie and Mudahar making videos about them a lot. So, like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with Lou Paul. Apparently, he's supposed to come back to WWE soon. So, I don't fucking know what the fuck's going on. I I but don't know. Especially because they just released fucking uh, the Prime Energy Drinks and shit, too. That's That's, like, not a great publicity thing. When it comes to that and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But going on. Sky does Minecraft wants to come back, apparently. Um, mm -hmm. the, the known abuser. Sky. Sky. Everybody came back fucking last episode. You missed the boat, bud. <laughs> you, like, you fucking missed, man. Like, god yeah. damn. Like, I, I don't know how I feel about it, because, for one, he's an abuser, but for two, he's came back, like, 15 times, he's left and came back, like, 15 times, so, I don't think it's gonna last, really, at all. Yeah, I don't know, he's either gonna come back and try doing that Minecraft shit again, or he's gonna come back and fucking just get annihilated by people and he'll fucking leave again. Yeah. Well, another per person, we, we've talked about Dan Harmon before of Rick and Morty fame. Now it's time to talk about mm -hmm. the co-creator, uh, Justin Roiland, because he has now been charged with domestic violence. Now... I actually have to look up this situation in general right now. So just to be just to be like completely clear. So apparently in 2020 he was charged with one count of domestic battery and he finally actually got like sentenced. Damn. Basically the alleged incident took place on January 19th, 2020. It was against an unidentified woman who was dating Raylan at the time. A date for the trial has not been yet set yet, but another pre-trial has been uh, scheduled to take place on April 27th. Apparently, Raylan was released on $50,000 bond in August 2020 and was arranged in October of that year. Oh, yeah, October of that year... A protective order filed m that month said Royland is not to harass, threaten, or surveil the person named in it. 
He is also not allowed to be within 100 feet of that person. The protective order lasts until October 2023. So. Damn, what the fuck, man? What the fuck is it with Rick and Morty? First, it's goddamn Dan Harmon with all his fuck shit and the incest fucking shit. And now it's the fucking co-creator, bro. What the fuck, bro? I don't know. I don't know, like, what, man. What, what, oh, my God. How do you have two fucking terrible people running the fucking, creating that fucking show? Like, what the I fuck? I don't bro? know. Like, and I, I want to know what fucking Adult Sim is going to do about it because it's it's kind of fucked. And then here's the thing. I don't know, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm really glad that people are starting to hate Rick and Morty now because god damn. Like, I don't even like that yeah. shit no more, dude. Fuck. It died after season two. Doesn't, I'm sorry. Doesn't, uh... Doesn't Justin Roiland... Doesn't he voice Rick and Morty? Uh... I, be- I believe he does, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. It's... Oh, my God. Like... I've seen some Rick and Morty stuff that I liked or thought was funny, but then I see... The, the more Rick and Morty shit I see... Just it, it doesn't seem like it's that funny, or like I'll see like the, I saw all the incest shit you're talking about. Like I seen clips of it. I seen fucking somebody a video about it. Like it's fucked, bro. The show yeah. is fucked. And it's crazy because it got a show made by two fucking awful people. It's the most fucking popular cartoons. Like, well, actually. Fuck? Adult Swim actually has a more popular cartoon now called Smiling Friends. I don't know if you heard about it. It's made by one of the people who uh, run, like, not run Oni Plays, but, like, are on Oni Plays. And he, he, it's actually mm-hmm. pretty decent. It's it's a lot better than Rick and Morty, I will say that. Bro. Do you remember the fucking Szechuan sauce? Shit. Oh, yeah, they yeah. Freaking the fuck out. Yeah, so, if you know what the Szechuan sauce thing is, a couple of years ago, uh, Szechuan sauce is, like, a thing from Rick and Morty, and people fucking love Morty so much, uh, it was a, it was a, so- a special sauce that they were having at McDonald's at the time, and people were fucking lined up, I'm talking blocks away to get this fucking Szechuan sauce and all the McDonald's were fucking out of it there's people selling Szechuan sauce on eBay there's people fucking killing each other for Szechuan sauce like there's literally stabbings and shit over Szechuan sauce and uh I don't remember I think it was you that showed me that clip of like uh this cringy ass like Rick and Morty fan where he like went to McDonald's and he was like uh, like rolling around on the floor screaming I'm Pickle Rick or whatever. Yeah. Like, they're Rick and Morty fans are so fucking cringy. The whole Szechuan sauce thing was crazy. I just remember like every time I went to McDonald's, somebody was asking about Szechuan sauce or I saw something about Szechuan sauce. Even when I worked at McDonald's for the brief time that I did, people were asking about the fucking Szechuan sauce. I was like, oh my god, bro. Like, holy fuck. But, yeah, fucking, this is how madly popular the show is, and now, you know, both fucking people that made it are fucking pieces of shit, so. Wonderful. And the last person that, um, is being cancelled is Andrew Cunningham, who. I, 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 I thought you were going to say Andrew Tate. I was going to say, not again, bro. <laughs> No, we could actually talk about Andrew Tate because apparently he was hospitalized. I don't know why. Oh god. But we could talk about that later. Um, but Andrew Cunningham, I guess he was like he's a like YouTube documentary guy, kind of the light of like Shane Dawson, but he's kind of like I guess he was kind of better than Shane Dawson because you know Shane Dawson mm-hmm. was a piece of shit. Well, it turns out everybody is a fucking everybody who does documentaries on YouTube apparently are pieces of shit because. Mm-hmm. He, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I saw five, five people called him out for this, for rape. F- five women, like, called him oh, out God. for rape. And, uh, so yeah. 
that's happening. Oh, and he straight up didn't even deny it. He was like, yeah. And then he tried to kill himself. Oh my fucking god, dude. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So, he's still alive. Um, but he straight up admitted it that he raped five women. So that's oh, okay. You know, it's fun. Jesus fucking Christ! Like as if one wasn't bad enough. Oh, that's five is just as we like as we know of, honestly. Oh my god. Because if it's just five, it can't Jesus just Christ. be just five. It that's just five people coming out. If he's like straight up a million, there there's got to be more. I would hope not, but there what has is, to be at this point. People, what is up with people named Andrew and fucking women? What the fuck, bro? I, I don't... I don't know. Is Andrew just a curse name to have now? I, I guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> off the cancel topic, I do have some breaking news. Breaking news? Yep. Oh, God. No, it, it's good breaking news. It's fine. So, it looks like Cody Rhodes is going to be returning at the Royal Rumble. It's official. He's good. declared himself for the Royal Rumble. Good. So, good. it is... I mean, it kind of ruins the surprise, but good. I mean, I don't care. As long as, as, long as he's there, I guess. Yeah. Well, I suppose I can get to one of my fucking rants if you'd like. Oh yeah, you want to talk about Velma, De Devin? Why don't you save a little clip first? Because this this is gonna be a fucking beefy topic. Okay. All right, Devin, talk about your favorite show. So, um, I. I think we reacted to one of the trailers on the podcast before. Yeah, we uh, could actually... New film show. I mean, if you want to, um, once you get home, we could react to the second trailer that came out. You know, just fucking, just f fucking send it now, because I'm already going to be pissed anyway. Just fucking send it. <laughs> well, you're not home, though. Well, I'm not fucking driving at the moment. I'm just sitting in my car. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, so I mean, all right. I I so thought you were driving. I'm, I'm fucking... oh. Okay. Send it. <laughs> I'm sending it. I'm sending. I'm sending it, motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. I'm fucking on it. We'll react to it. Yep. Was the was the one we reacted to before or just a teaser? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the official trailer. Thank you, HBO Max. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead. Right. Do the countdown. In three, two, one, go. This is my story told my way. Candies. Ew. So what? Uh, maybe it's one of those doors where you 
It's got like a minute left. the trailer but uh i believe in the past couple days i don't know exactly what day the show premiered and from what i've seen it's fucking atrocious <laughs> so oh, no. Oh, no. All I, what i'm going to start off by saying is hbo max why the did you fucking green light this fucking absolute goddamn fucking embarrassment? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? First off, as I was telling Austin, if you wanted to make a show about Velma, you could very easily make an interesting show about Velma where you can showcase that they've had in this franchise that has been around for over 50 fucking years. They have shown that Goma has interest in horror and mysteries. But no, let's not base the show off that. No, 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 no. Let's let's base it off a of fucking random high school person getting fucking murdered, and then Vilma's gonna get arrested. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what we're gonna fucking do. Yeah, woohoo! Let's give ourselves a fucking clap on the back. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Oh my god. If you want to make a show about Vilma? This is not how you fucking go about it. God damn it. <laughs> Christ. Okay? I didn't think this was I'm fucking me. pissed. No. <laughs> I'm pissed because this fucking franchise that I love so much, Scooby Doo is my favorite. Favorite cartoon when I was a kid. I grew up watching Scooby Doo. I've seen every goddamn iteration of this fucking franchise. And this is the crap that we're getting. It's 2023. This is what I gotta start my fucking new year with. <laughs> this fucking bullshit. Can't even get three weeks. Three weeks to 2023. And it's already, oh, fucking sitting there talking about, oh, fucking someone's sexuality. Oh, fucking this and that. Shut the fuck up. Oh my fucking god. And the thing is, this isn't even the only rant I'm going on in this episode, but oh my fucking god. Why? Why are all the characters race swap? Why? Why? I'm not. Before, let me clarify. I have no problem with characters of different races and ethnicities being in media. I have no problem with that. What my problem is. Why change the characters that have been the same characters for over 50 years? Not just fucking 10, not 20, not 30, not 40. Over 50 
years. Everybody knows who Velma is and what she looks like. Everybody knows who Shaq. He's not even called Shay. They're calling him by his his nor his fucking actual name. They never called him as that before. It was brought up a couple times, but it was never ever to where he was called Norville all the time. Okay. So. But it's so woke why? and empowering, Devin. I don't give a fuck. Okay? It's about as woke as Ronnie Radke is, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is an absolute fucking travesty of a fucking show. Okay? Why? Why? I seen that, that Velma is Indian American and Shaggy is black. Daphne is Asian and Fred is just white still. Why? There's no reason. And I'm not, I don't care if people say, here, oh, you're racist because you don't want those characters to be that. That's not my point, you fucking idiots. That's not my fucking point. My fucking point is that why would you change these characters? And I don't want no bullshit because, Austin, I heard that this show, this fucking piece of shit, was supposed to be a completely different show, and these fucking, whoever made it, whoever made this show, got fucking scared that fucking their show wasn't gonna fucking do well, so they fucking slapped the fucking Scooby-Doo property over it because they figured it would help it get more fucking viewership and it help it go over there. Well, guess what? It's the second worst rated show on HBO Max's history. Would you, would you it's the like... the second worst. Would you like to know who made Velma, Tevin? Please tell me. Please tell me. It's probably at all... Please, please tell me. Please. Please. Okay, give me one second. Because... Developed by Charlie Grandy... And the executive producer is Mindy fan. Kaling. Fuck you, Mindy. Fuck you. Go you know who, fucking jump off a cliff. Do you remember... Do you know who Mindy Kaling is? I'm so mad right now that I'm not thinking straight. You need to tell me. Okay, so... Remember the night before? The Seth she, Rogen fucking shit. Yep. She what was... Did she make that? N- no, no. Uh, she was the Indian chick. Oh, wow. Wow. She was also in she the office. A... Mm-hmm. Um, she was in Sesame Street. And the Muppets. Mm-hmm. And she was in Wrecked Ralph. She, she was in fucking wreck this. <laughs> she was in Night at the Museum Battle for for Smithsonian. That's the fucking the second one. And, and, and you know it makes it fucking makes sense because that one's fucking cringier than the first one. And she was also in the Forty Year Old Virgin. Oh wow. Okay, well, this isn't in what movies have they been in. This is... Boom! God damn it. God. Oh. Well, well, it said she was in Velma, too. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, she I plays don't Velma. understand. Oh, she plays Velma. Fuck you, cunt. Why? Why have you done this? Why have you done this? Why? There's no reason... And I don't want to hear those people, oh, watch it before you make an opinion. Go fuck yourself. You well, fucking neckbeard get... virgin loser. Time to get a Mindy Kaling PNG. Fuck you. Fuck you, Mindy Kaling. Okay? Goddamn. And fucking the, the hounds are going crazy right now. Or the hound. Whatever the fuck. I'm fucking pissed. God fucking damn it. What? Okay. I'm trying to think straight here, okay? What I don't understand is why the characters if you wanted it to do well off of the Scooby-Doo property why change the characters 
they changed the characters. If you were so scared that it wasn't going to do well, why change the fucking thing that you're putting in it to make it do well? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Why does Shaggy need to be black? Why does Velma need to be Indian? Why does Daphne need to be Asian? Those characters were never that. That could be, they said, oh, we're making a show called Squidward, and Squidward's going to be a fucking <laughs> octopus instead of a squid, and Mr. Krabs is going to be a lobster instead of a crab, and fucking Sandy's going to be a fucking beaver instead of a squirrel, <laughs> and the fucking the, the, the show's going to be about how fucking serve marine life and the fucking fish's sexuality and shit and fucking Spongebob's not even gonna be in the show. That's that's exactly what this fucking show is. You change everything, it makes no sense. Why? Why? In every iteration I've ever seen of this show, I've never seen something so ludicrous in my life. I love this fucking franchise, man, and it pisses me off that this is what they do. This is what they do with the fucking friend. After you just had Scooby Doo and Guess Who, which is a fucking callback to the original fucking series and the fucking new Scooby Doo movies. But no, no, let's fuck it all up for political agenda and fucking pandering. It's always with the pandering. Pandering, pandering. Cinderella, fucking they slash them. It's all pandering. That's all it is. And it fucking pisses me off. I don't care. I don't care if characters are transgender or gay or non-binary or fucking whatever or different races. I don't care. That's not what my problem is. My problem is that they're forcing it into all these shows. Where in, hey, look, these characters are diff they're, they're different races now. Oh, we're including these races and ethnicities. Oh, there's a transgender character in the show. Like, I, why? I don't I don't mean to stop you, but I will say I messed up on the Andrew Cunningham oh, thing. He, he's he, he he did rape those people, but it, it's actually Andrew Callahan, not Cunningham. I misread it. <laughs> well, fucking Jesus Christ. But anyway, what I don't understand. You could have made such an interesting show if you wanted a murder involved in the show, but a darker version of Scooby Doo would be fucking cool. This is it cool? <laughs> it's not. They, they had a show called Be Cool Scooby Doo, and that was cooler than this shit. What the fuck, HBO Max? Fuck it. Are, are you going to be as bad as Netflix? I mean, for fuck's sake, you're on your way there if you're putting out shows like this. Oh my god. Like, that trailer was so fucking... Li like, who cares about people's sexuality? I don't care what sexuality you are. And I certainly don't care what Velma thinks about it. Your fucking original Velma would never give a fuck about any of that. Fucking god... Fucking Fred. You're gonna tell me Fred is a fucking pussy that sits there. Oh, I only talk to people if they're fucking hot. Bro, you're supposed to be the leader of the group. You're supposed to be the man that drives the... Where's the mystery machine? You know, but where the fuck is Scooby-Doo? <laughs> oh, oh, we'll get... To... Actually, you should probably get to that, actually. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that, because there's uh, apparently this uh, awesome sent me, awesome fucking sent me, this fucking shit, right, that... I don't know if it's 100% confirmed, but it's this thing that's saying, like, Scooby in the show, first of all, the name is going to be spelled S-C-O-O-B-I, because why not? Because change fucking everything. But no, 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 no. Hello? Oh, I think Devin just, like, I think he's cutting out. Hello. Oh no, <laughs> it's gonna make him angrier, dude. It's gonna make him angrier. Oh, he's back.
Hello? Open? What the fuck? Hello, hello, hello. hello. I hear you. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Austin, hello, 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 hello. I can hear you. The fuck? Hello, hello. I can hear you. Okay, he just left the party. Cool. Okay. Waiting and waiting. Still waiting. Hello. Austin, hello, hello. God hello. Man, I called your name 50 times. I, I was hearing you for a good bit, and then you left the party. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. My fucking PlayStation app crashed. But well, last thing I heard, you were you were man. you were about to scream about the Scooby thing. Yeah, because not only did they change the name, but uh, apparently, I I I want to I want to say this before I say anything. I don't know if it's confirmed, but it's a fucking thing that people were putting on Twitter. Apparently, Scooby is going to be in the show, but the name is spelled S C O O B I because they think they're fucking cute. And apparently Scooby, it's not even going to be called Scooby-Doo, just Scooby, and apparently Scooby-Doo is going to be a black woman. Why the fuck? N not only that, You Devin. can't... Not only that, what? What? They're saying what? that Shaggy's going to get into a relationship with Scooby. Oh, great. You know... <laughs> You know, of all the ludicrous things I've heard in my life, you can't take <laughs> Scooby Doo oh, no. and turn him into a fucking human that's gonna be in a relationship with Shaggy. I'm sorry, Norville. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't. You can't. <laughs> Do that, man! Oh no! You motherfucker! Who made this show? Whatever her name was, you have no right. <laughs> fucking ruin this fucking franchise like this! What the fuck, dude? Oh my god! Why? Why is this a thing? It is. This screams political agenda. This screams pandering. This screams that, bro. It screams it more than I'm screaming. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, I'm red in the fucking face right now, dude. Jesus. Why? Why does my favorite fucking have to be ruined by this fucking political bullshit? I know everybody's just the Austin ranting, but I'm pissed. God damn it. I'm pissed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is the most mad I've ever seen you. Because, Austin, if, if it was your favorite cartoon, you would be pissed too. Okay? Well, yeah. Imagine this happening to your favorite cartoon. Imagine it. I mean, I could definitely imagine, imagine they it. Imagine your favorite cartoon. Imagine they... they Imagine they take your favorite cartoon and they sit there and they change the race of every character. They take the main fucking character and that they turn it into something completely different and and they make it so pandery and so political and so forced. Why, man? Why? I want to fucking cry, bro. Why? HBO Max, why would you green like this? You have no taste. You have no, no fucking right or wrong, good or evil. 
Do you have no fucking common sense in your fucking heads? Who, who looked at this and then, yeah, yeah, let's put this out. Who, who sat there and fucking said, oh yeah, they could be young men if you were going to watch. Who the fuck, bro? I, I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Like, what the fuck? And it got the worst, uh, second worst rating that they've ever had. Bro. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because these fucking people are gonna sit here and eat it all up, and fucking we're gonna get a season two, and three, and four, and five, and fucking the, the fucking Scooby-Doo franchise is gonna be dead. It's gonna be fucking dead. They killed it. It's dead. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say I it's believe. dead just yet. Why not? What'd you say? I said, why not? Because a lot of things have came back from shit. If we're if we're looking back from the past, a lot of things that came back from utter shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I. I mean. I can't even be. I can't be asked. I I can't. I can't. The you know the the one one cartoon that I fucking care about since childhood. No, they gotta go and fucking ruin it. Great, wonderful. But you know what? You know what? You're gonna put this show out. I'm not fucking watching it. Go fuck yourself. I don't care. I don't care about a fucking review. I'm not fucking doing it. Fuck it. I, I can't. I can't see something I love so much fall so far and crumble in front of my fucking eyes. Does it make you feel better that... Absolutely. Does it make it feel better that they canceled a Scooby-Doo holiday special for this? No! <laughs> Warner Brothers. Now I'm talking to you. The ones that want to sit there and come at us and take down our live commentaries and fucking give us copyright strikes. How about you make good fucking content? Instead of fucking coming after people, Warner Brothers. How about you stop fucking canceling shit? Hey, 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 money, hey you, gotta, you, gotta say, you gotta say it right. It's Warner Brothers Discovery now. Yeah, maybe they should fucking discover how to fucking go out of business. Maybe, oh, they, maybe they should discover fucking passion. Maybe they should discover fucking logic. Maybe they should discover fucking anything besides this. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck have they done? They made a show. And you know what? Yeah, they, they, they made a show. They made a show. Oh, they, they made a show for sure. I mean, they did. Fucking, they can fucking rot in hell for all I care. Fuck you, Warner Brothers. And fuck you, whoever made the goddamn show. And fuck the goddamn Velma show. Fuck you. But you, you never know, Devin. It I'm could get better. Better. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! How is it gonna get better if they do that shit? I don't know. How? I don't know. How is it gonna get better? I don't know. You know what? You know what? Fuck Velma. I love this franchise too much to fucking sit here and fucking just watch this happen. I'm not, I'm not, no, fuck the show. I, I'm done. I'm done talking about it. Fuck it. You know, I might as well keep my next rant and get this fucking over with. I might as well. I might as well because I'm so fucking pissed right now. I might as well go on to my next fucking rant. I might as well. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> time to talk about wrestling news outlets. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why? I'll tell you. So last time, yeah, we talked about wrestling news outlet. Uh, it was Austin ranting, but now, now it's my turn because I had enough. 
I've had enough, bro, of these fucking wrestling news outlets, bro. I swear to God, I am so sick. Every day I go on Twitter, it's all, no, you got dot com reports that this is happening. Oh, uh, Dave Meltzer reports this is happening. Fucking Wrestle Talk reports this is happening. Fucking uh, <laughs> Bring some news. Sean's View Entertainment. Fucking JD from New York. Everybody, I'm so sick of the wrestling news. And you want to know why I'm pissed? Because uh, Vince McMahon is back in WWE now. He's back on the board of directors, right? Right, right. And all these fucking wrestling news outlets sat here and, oh, let's put out these fucking reports and, 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 and clip the, the title saying Vince McMahon is back. Vince McMahon is, is this and that and the other. And he's releasing talent and he's taking over creative. You don't know shit. Okay? I'm talking to Ringside News, Dave Meltzer, fucking Dick Ryder, Brian Alvarez, fucking Cultaholic, What Culture. Wrestle Talk, Sean's View, JD from New York, No DQ, Fightful, Sean Ross Sapp, which apparently I seen fucking shit about him being a pedophile. I guess I don't really know what it was, but I've seen people saying he was a pedophile now. Um, let me, you know, let me scroll up. Let me fucking scroll to this fucking wrestling news shit that I sent you. Oh, Jesus, Just like dude. to make sure I call out everybody. Oh Jesus. So, <clears throat> So, uh, oh yeah, Bodyslam.net is another one. Zero News is another one. Fucking, uh... So, they keep putting out these clip baby articles. Like, Bodyslam.net put out this article. Vince McMahon expected to return to WWE Creative. Literally clickbait, because it's not fucking true. Because you don't know shit, wrestling news outlets. We said this time and 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 time again. You don't know shit, Okay? Just because Dave Meltzer says something, just because Sean Roth sat to something, doesn't mean it's true. I mean, for fuck's sake, the past two weeks, two weeks since it, since this fucking happened, they have gotten report after report after report after report wrong. Everything has been wrong, and they've been getting laughed at and laughed at, laughed at, laughed at, for reporting this fucking bullshit ass news, bro. And and you know what? You know what? I'm going to call it a, a specific fucking pussy. Sean's View. Oh, no. <laughs> no Views Entertainment. Fake Views Entertainment. I'm talking to you, bitch. I'm calling your ass out. I hope you watch this goddamn episode. Because I know you sit there and watch everything that has to do with you on YouTube. Because our Omnibus on the Clips channel, your fucking little fucking pussy ass commented on you said LOL. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I know you fucking sat there and you were fucking knew everything we were saying was true. We had the, as you say, proof and evidence, as you like to say. Right, oh Sean? Oh my god. So, both, both Austin and I have been calling out this fucking pussy on Twitter and he won't reply to it because he's a fucking pussy. Right, Sean, Sean Patrick. I'll say your real name. Sean Patrick. I'm talking to you. So, my screenshots here. Sean's View Entertainment uh, has been doing so many fucking news and rumors, right? <clears throat> Over the past week, uh, Sean's View Entertainment, WWE Vince McMahon, WWE Creative Return. An hour later, WWE Star walk out of WWE after Vince McMahon return. Hours later, WWE Vince McMahon releases WWE names. Hours later, WWE Triple H comments on Vince McMahon. Hours later, WWE 2023 removals and resignations. Hours later, WWE breaking news, Vince McMahon. Hours later, WWE buyer for WWE emerges. WWE Vince McMahon wants to regain creative control. WWE star released. WWE Triple H ejected from WWE. There's more. Uh, my fucking Twitter just crashed for some reason. Now I gotta go back to it. Oh, God. Uh, hold on. There's this one screenshot I had. I didn't send it to you, but there's this one Sean screenshot I had of like some clickbaity videos he was doing. Let me see if I can find it. There they are. So, <clears throat> so then there was this fucking rumor 
I got WWE selling the Saudi Arabia, right? They sit there and they fucking all these wrestling news outlets peddle it out because oh, Dave Meltzer said it. Oh, Sean Mossap said it. It's gotta be true. No, no, it's not. Okay, Sean, if you WWE sold the Saudi Arabia, WWE Saudi Arabia Vince, WWE Sami Zayn quits WWE, WWE unveils Saudi Arabia Universal Championship, and it's the fucking picture of the goddamn green title that Braun Strowman won in the fucking Grand Royal Rumble. Jesus Christ. WWE TV 14 return sold to Saudi Arabia. WWE not sold to Saudi Arabia. Now, later, WWE Randy Orton released. WWE Stephanie McMahon resigned. That was the only thing that was true. WWE Vince McMahon sold 2023. WWE sold to Saudi Arabia. Triple H removed. WWE sold to Saudi Arabia. Confirmed. 23. Shut the fuck up, motherfucker. <laughs> Goddamn. Oh my god, dude. Every day, Marvin Booker reports, you know, I'm going through his channel, Sean, VN, let's go. How this fucking guy has 124k subs, I don't know. Oh, WWE, uh, Vince, WWE Vince McMahon fires WWE stars. WWE Triple H and Stephanie McMahon quit. WWE stars quit 2023. Triple H. Uh, WWE top news, top WWE star announces, released. WWE Triple H addresses Vince McMahon leaving. WWE breaking news. WWE top star pulled from WWE Vince McMahon. WWE Stephanie McMahon hospitalized. WWE AEW Triple H Stephanie McMahon AEW 2023 debut. Oh, awesome. <sighs> and this is fake Photoshop picture of Stephanie McMahon AEW. WWE and AEW to merge together. AEW buying WWE 2022. Or 23, sorry. WWE Triple H against WWE being sold to AEW. Oh, Jesus, dude. Fuck you, John. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Twitter crashed again, bro. I'm trying to go back to it. And then Sean puts these fucking things in his community post. Urgent, click the bell, turn on all notifications. I'm oh, sorry, I'll say it like Sean. Oh shit, click the bell, turn on all notifications, right here on Sean's View Entertainment, right here on YouTube.com, visit my channel, every hour, for every hour, on the hour, for all WWE and AEW news and rumors, right here on Sean's View Entertainment, here's your poll, do you fear this man will return to WWE, take over WWE creative, fucking everybody voted no, fucking, here's another one, uh, in news right here on Sean's View Entertainment, did you enjoy Sean's View Entertainment, multiple videos every hour, on the hour, WWE news and rumors, gossip, and, and more around the clock, the brash, the brazen, plush, Double check the bells. Put for all the WWE. Thank you. And fucking breaking news right here on Sean's View Entertainment. Pull below. I apologize for being such a slow news day on Sean's View Entertainment. Right here on YouTube.com. News and rumors. AWW. AW. Right all around the clock. All day long. Cause I have no life. I have no job. I have no girlfriend. I'm fucking sad. I'm I put out fake news. I could fake. Fucking. I hate days like this. But I'm not going to make up. I'm not going to make up news and rumors just to get a video out there. Go fuck yourself, Sean. Go fucking crawl back in the dirty hole you fucking come from. You fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> that felt damn good to get that out. Damn good. Okay. Sean, if you would like to come on oh, our podcast goodness. and debate with Devin, we would take that. It's content. Ooh. Oh my god, Sean. But it doesn't stop there because then we got Steve Carrier of Ringside News. You remember Ringside News, Austin? Yes. He claims, I got attacked on Christmas. I got assaulted in my own house today and my presence stolen. And the police aren't doing anything about it. The police, wa- the police wanted end to argue with me about technology after I had a wine glass thrown in my face and told me it wasn't a map to send the locals over. After they stole all my Christmas gifts from my family and it was held at gunpoint. I had thousands of dollars of gifts stolen from my house on Christmas and the police won't do shit about it. I will not pay my taxes this year. Then on the ringside news account I said, if Florida doesn't arrest the people stealing from me on Christmas, I'm fucking not paying you Soma bitches taxes. 
and then he uh, added the mayor of Florida or whatever. He said, your fucking cops in Florida literally won't arrest, so fuck you. You don't get my 200K in taxes. Fuck the government. Fuck you all. My house was broken into on Christmas, and they told me that they aren't doing shit. Why the fuck do I pay the government over 100K in goddamn taxes, and you motherfuckers won't arrest people robbing me on Christmas when I give you the address? And that's everything that fucking Steve Carey said. But I'm just sick and tired of all these news outlets posting all these fake articles, doing all this fucking shit, getting all these fucking people to believe this fucking misinformation, getting everybody freaked the fuck out and concerned about everything because they sit here on Twitter and they believe everything that every one of these motherfuckers say, bro. Fucking pisses me off. Oh, the fuck to get that out. Uh, all right. Do, Austin, do, you need... do you have any anything to add? I I, I really don't. I'm <laughs> I got nothing to say, <laughs> bro. Okay. Well, you better fucking say something because I I I need to cool down. Okay. To cool down. Okay. I'm in that. Well, I I do I do have a topic. Um. Sorry, I'm trying to like. <laughs> I have a topic when it comes to the late juice world. If you want to hear about that, Devin. Hello. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm. I'm just. I'm. I need a minute to cool down. Well, his ex girlfriend has been a piece of shit. Um, not only has she said that Juice World did not die of an overdose. Uh, she's also give like taken the the Rolex that Juice World got for her and gave it to her like her new boyfriend. Um along with that boyfriend flexing with the Rolex and playing Juice World in the background. Um and then also, she was just arrested for meth and cocaine possession. So that was... That's nice. How, how do you feel about that, Devin? I mean, it's fucked up because Juice World died. Like, you shouldn't just disrespect a man like that. Yeah. Like, Why? Wait, why do why do if I look up Juice World, I can look up Juice World Ronnie Radke? Wait, what? Hang on. How does Ronnie Radke have to involve himself in so much bullshit? Can he just fuck off? Uh. Uh, I guess I guess Juice World is a Ronnie Radke fan. I'm not gonna judge the dead. It's fine. I guess since I was looking up Ronnie Radke, that showed up. But. Well, that's fucking great. Man, fuck Ronnie Radke. Uh, but her her name is Ali Lottie. She looks ugly as fuck. No offense, Juice World, you could have done better, done better there. Like, at least now she does. I'm she didn't. To... She didn't before. You're still trying to calm down. You said. Yeah, I'm fucking. I'm driving home right now. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to chill out. So just give me a minute to talk about something. Okay, um... I'm trying to see what else I have to talk about. Um... Well, I have... I have fucking Misfits 4 to talk about. Let me... fucking... go to the card. Misfits... Said... Said Phase Temper... You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> okay, the card. So this happened on uh, 
the fucking, I think it was the 14th, yeah, it was 14th. So the card was Slim versus Tom Zanetti, uh, and that was, I think that match ended with Slim losing via split decision, I think that's what it was. Um, Salt Poppy versus Josh Bruckner. Fucking Salt Poppy is like, for so, like he just fucking dances on people and then knocks them out. So Salt po- Poppy fucking won. Oh, I guess that was okay. So it didn't show the entire card on here. Cool. Okay. Let me go back to the. Let me go to this one. Yeah, continue reading. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this website so stupid? Okay. Uh, Louis Pineda B Dave. He was the mystery opponent to B Dave's match, and he fucking destroyed him via knockout. Swarms uh, beat fucking Ryan Taylor. Uh, I think it was dude like the Swarms hit a couple sh- like punches and then Ryan Taylor said he couldn't see, so the fight was called off and Swarms won. And then Ellie Brooke beat Faith Ordaway via K- KO. It was the only girl fight on that one. And then, of course, the KSI versus Temper. KSI knocked fucking Temper out in the first round. And that was pretty much it. That was Misfits 4. It was a decent boxing event. Alright, just a couple more things. Devin has calmed down now, so... (laughs) I I had to go chill out because I haven't been that pissed in a while. Usually don't... You guys usually don't see me pissed on the podcast or reviews anymore. It's been a long time since I used to do rants and get pissed, but that Scooby-Doo fucking Velma shit got me heated because I fucking care so much about that shit. And then I've been building up this fucking anger towards Sean the past couple weeks, so that's why I needed to release that shit. But, uh, no. so my last topic that I have, excuse me. If you hear my car in the background, I'm sorry. I'm fucking on my way home. But, uh, because, uh, the reason I, am uh, doing this, uh, from work and shit today is just had a bit of a personal situation going on at home. Didn't want to do it at home. So that's yeah. why I was at work on this episode. But anyway, fucking, so, uh, my last topic is going to be about Mr. CJ So Cool. Now, we haven't talked about him on the podcast before, but we, me and Austin did talk about him on videos that are on his channel, the uh, Failed Rappers 1 and 2 videos that we did. Uh, so, CJ So Cool is the brother of Jinx the Reactor, or Jinx Reloaded, or Jinx the Rebel, which is his rapper name, or Jinx the fucking moron, whatever. And so, basically, Jinx was famous he got famous for being uh you react to like 2015 where he would react to like buying shit and then his brother cj so cool started doing it as well he got popular from it now he's more popular than jinx and he's a rapper as well and he lives in a mansion and has all this money and shit and they, they did a couple songs together recently <clears throat> and cj is actually a pretty a pretty decent rapper jinx sucks i don't like jinx but cj is actually a pretty decent rapper and he seems like he's a really nice guy and shit and I think he has like five kids or something like that Damn. and so Austin is gonna be this uh, so World Star Hip Hop posted apparently YouTuber CJ So Cool was reportedly shot four times in a home invasion uh, currently he is in stable condition so that's crazy he fucking and he, he lives in a fucking big ass mansion like we've seen it in his music videos, like, so that had to be a fucking pretty, whoever did the home invasion had to fucking 
been pretty good at fucking breaking into places to get into a fucking big ass mansion like that. And fucking man got shot four times. That's that sucks, man. Especially yeah. since he's got kids and shit, and he's got this whole like YouTube career and everything. Like, you know, I don't I don't like Jinx that much, but uh, my hopefully CJ makes it out okay. It's, it, it says he's in stable condition, so that is something better than if it said critical condition or something. But because uh, like. Because, like, uh, for example, one that was kind of scary was uh, the rapper Lil TJ. He got shot and shit not too long ago, and he was in critical condition. He almost died. Yeah. But thankfully, he's alive, and he's back to making music and stuff. But thankfully, CJ is okay, at least from what it seems. And my thoughts are with uh, his family and, and Jinx as well. Even though I don't like Jinx that much, like, you know, that is a horrible, horrible thing to happen in anyone's family and... Uh, my prayers uh, go up for CJ, and I'm hoping everything turns out all right and shit. Yeah. But yeah, well, that's pretty much the uh, CJ so cool topic. So now we have one topic left, and uh, it's Austin's grand finale because he's gonna tell me about some shit that I've never heard of before. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna find an article about Elsa Gate because I can't explain it as well as some articles can so yeah, just so like I said Elsa Gate what? yeah what so what the fuck is Elsa Gate exactly well Wikipedia describes it as a controversy surrounding videos on YouTube and YouTube kids that are ca- categorized as child friendly but which contain themes that are inappropriate for children. Most videos in this cl- classification are notable for presenting inappropriate content. These these include graphic violence, sexual situations, fe- fetishes, obscene language, drugs, alcohol, nudity, injections, disease, explicit toilet humor, and dangerous or upsetting situations and activities. Jesus. So... Now... There, this happened about like 2017, 2018 ish, I would say, mm-hmm. um, and all this stuff, and I got picked up by like big news outlets and shit, and all that shit. But fucking, I guess it's still been happening, even though. YouTube has taken precaution and like taking comments off YouTube videos and everything. Is so okay. So if you know now, since there was another thing when it came to this Elsagate shit, some pedophiles would use Elsagate like the videos from Elsagate to put like codes, and if you type those codes in, it would go to, like stuff like children twerking, you know, stuff like that. Oh my god, bro, why? Yeah. So, basically, that's why if you ever go on a kid's video or a video with a child in it, and it says comments are turned off, that's why, because you can't have comments no more on videos with kids in it or videos made for kids. That's why all the, the Coppa, Copa shit, whatever happened, and everything like that. That's what started all that. So even though that stuff has happened, apparently Elsagate is still alive and thriving, just with under new, um, I guess new fads, I guess you would say. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's stuff like fucking the Poppy Playtime, Friday Night Funkin', Among Us, Peppa Pig, shit like that is now the target of the Elsa Gate shit when it used to be stuff like the Hulk and Spider-Man and Elsa and all that shit. So it's still thriving and it's still a problem. And I just wanted to make light of that just so maybe YouTube could do something about it because it's, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. I'm, 
I remember uh, like a couple years ago, I was seeing like uh all these like Spider Man and Elsa videos like all over yeah, YouTube. And that I was part of talking about it. That and was, was part like, of Elsa. What the fuck is this shit? Yeah, I was like, it's so weird. And like I I definitely remember seeing videos about like the pissing stuff. Yeah. Um, uh but I just didn't understand it at the time. I didn't watch it. I just thought it was like some weird like thing other on two and then eventually like I didn't see it anymore. So I just thought it was one of those things that just came and went. But I didn't I had no idea that it was like this. Yeah. Um so I guess it's still going on and it's the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I, I have you know, my baby sister watches YouTube, and, like, you know, my cousins watch YouTube, and shit like that, and I, I don't, you know, I don't want them seeing this shit, so I wanted to bring that atten- to the attention of YouTube, maybe, you know, maybe do something, instead of just taking well, off Austin, comments. Well, Austin, is it, is it just on YouTube, or is it on, it's on TikTok both. as well, because I know a lot of kids use TikTok. TikTok is probably worse. Oh, God. Of course it is. Whatever I can only that imagine. That, that everybody was saying, oh, they're going to ban TikTok, and it never fucking happened. I, I, I don't know. I think it's just the app's too popular for it to be banned at this point. Even though they've shown, like, some Sean's View Entertainment proof and evidence of like the amount of fucking data and shit that they uh collect on people and and uh I saw like videos where it said like if, if you're a certain age using TikTok it it'll like show you certain things so if you're like under the age of like I think it's so, like 13 or 12 like it shows you like specific like kid oriented stuff so it's probably showing them that shit on TikTok probably and it's just sad. It's just really sad that kids' minds are getting messed up by YouTube and TikTok and shit, and neither YouTube or TikTok is doing shit about it. Yeah. Which, I, I would love them to do some shit about it, please. But, that was this episode of the What The Fuck Podcast, episode 58. Yep. Yep. Very, uh, <laughs> very fucked episode again. Ronnie yeah. Radke and Soraya, and then my fucking rants. And then I canceled. And CJ getting shot. Just all around very negative episode. Yeah. Hopefully next episode will have some fucking positivity. God damn. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. <laughs> With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Yep, and we will be back next time for episode 59. We're getting close to hitting 60. And on the road to episode 100 still, uh, hopefully, fucking, uh, we're recording this on a Monday, so hopefully fucking tomorrow something big doesn't happen because we're going to have to wait another two fucking weeks to talk about it. Um, yeah. But, yeah. All I want to say is, uh, CJ, so cool. I'm praying for you, man. Hope you make it through. Um, fuck the goddamn Velma. Oh, well, it looks like Devin cut out. I don't know what happened there all I heard was fuck the Velma so I guess I'll just outro it and thank you guys for watching and peace oh wait he's back hello yeah I was about to outro it what'd you, all I heard was oh man he fucking left Jesus Christ maybe he'll join back Give me, a, give him a second Let's give him a second. <laughs> Just give him more to edit, I guess.
Oh, he's joined back. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I was about to outro Did the video. Did you end the video? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. All I heard was I don't know what the happened. Dama. They kicked me out of the party. They kicked me out of the party and it said network error again. But, um, are we still recording? Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to, what I wanted to say before it cut me off was fuck the Velma show and fuck HBO Max and fuck the person who made it. Fuck all those wrestling news outlets, especially Sean's View Entertainment, and fuck goddamn, uh, fuck Soraya and fuck Ronnie Radke. And, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta fucking say. And I would fuck you, Marie Thank Canellis. Thank you, you guys for watching. Peace. See you next time. Bye.